Checkpoint Cloud Guard Application Security Overview, Web Application Firewall. More about this topic and panel, we will hear from Mr. Vladimir Michovic, Security Engineer at Ingram Micro. Vladimir is a security engineer with more than 15 years of professional work experience as a Windows Unix system administrator. In the last four years, Vladimir focused on information and communication technology security. Mr. Vladimir, welcome. The floor is yours. Hello, everybody. Do you hear me? Yes, yes. we hear Hi you. Again. We see your presentation. Great. So I will start uh, just a moment. OK. So my name is Vladimir Ivicevic, as you already represent me, and I'm coming from Ingram Micro Company on position as a security engineer. Um, as already said, uh, with professional working experience more than 15 years on positions Unix and Windows system administrator, and in the last four years, I'm focused on protecting information communication technologies. So today, I present what web application firewall is, go through some statistics and show great solution from Checkpoint web application firewall. So for the beginning, we are aware that security on the internet can be a real challenge as well as our assets on it. Websites as well as web applications are becoming more widespread and complex today. Therefore, it is growing challenge to protect them. According to some statistics, only in the third of 2001, we had an increase of DDoS attacks by 27% and 102% of blocked attacks. Also, the number of malicious bots has increased by almost 20%. Bots are taking over the internet, some would, will say, but with good reason. Statistics say that 56% of internet traffic is made by bots, on which 26 are malicious ones. And who are exactly the bots? Well, bots are scripts, programs that automate human process. They can be good or bad. Some of them are good ones, helping us to search the internet. Will malicious one steal our identity or carry out DDoS attacks on the application? For example, making the same request on an application from many different locations in the same time. Purpose of that is to slow down or disable the application, potentially opening the poss possibility for more complex attacks. Uh, as already mentioned, applications are becoming more complex. From some statistics, respondents said that 17% of applications change over a weekly basic. 56% uh, of teams do not integrate security in their changes. In the first place, API configuration, I'm sorry, protection is ranked on the list of priorities for 2021. And the biggest concern is the consistency and visibility of web application. The internet has uh, not been what it used to be for some time. Today, uh, app API communication between applications or services is increasingly used, which opens a new vector for attacks. Uh, more than half of applications on the internet work through API calls. So more than half of the industry believe that API has uh, become the uh, first in terms of protection priority. Therefore, as many as 57% of companies want to invest in WAF as protecting their online services. So what are the challenges in protecting web applications? Well, harmful transaction that seems leg uh, legit and undetected. Security is uh, not the focus of application design, more and more out of uh, out of organization applications are available online. Attacks are carried out by several layers and continuous development reinforces the need for security checks. Programs that applications run require constant updating. So what is the WAF? WAF is a security tool for tra tracking, filtering, blocking data exchange exchanged on the web application, as well as preventing the extraction of authorized data from the applications. WAF can work as a network device, software or hardware, as plugin for server, as, or as a cloud service. His task is to inspect each package and analyze on layer 7 web requirements, according to rules, filters, and to detect suspicious or dangerous traffic. Mm. Regular firewall protects the layer uh, 2 and 3. New generation firewalls protect layer 7, seven but only at the level of uh, package signature, like static analysis. Will WAF opens the package and does more detailed analysis, which protects, among other things, poorly written application, for example. 
what are drives for, for uh, WAF? Well, source code protection requires additional commitment, which is difficult to, difficult to measure and generally not done. Developers are not encouraged to work on security codes. The focus is more to get the job done as soon as possible. It takes more time, money, and requiring skills that current team may not have. And a few involves auditing and security when doing infrastructure sizing. What will be the, the ideal to do in this case uh, where a security breach is found? Well, simply fix the code and redistribute the application. But how that is in practice? It takes a long time to fix the application. For example, some of the big corporations, such as Oracle, took more than nine months to fix the SQL injection vulnerable on their portal. Application today rely on third-party components, which are not on our control, and therefore the time to repair the code is potentially exceeded. Applications cannot be removed from the internet until they are repaired, and application developers have no expertise in code protection. Um, how AppSec work? It, this is a simple uh, workflow. It receives legit, uh, legitimate and malicious query, WAF analyzes them, looks for the potential malicious activities, compare them with the rules, and if the passes all the scans and controls, it reaches to the web server and back. Some of uh, attacks which AppSec protecting is brute force, guessing the user uh, code or uh, folder, file names on the web application itself, buffer overflow, writing to memory space were not provided, cookie injection, using some else cookies, which give you an ID of another user, which we'll uh, present later, cross-site scripting forgery, forced to authorize user to take action on the application, cross-site scripting, uh, also known as XSS, force a user to take action on site they don't know the attacker is required, Directory traversal on a mission in the code, which allow attacker to walk through the web server folder. HTTP denial service or DOS, uh, due to flow in the code, the attacker is able to crash the application, web server or, and software OS uh, attacks. Attacks on the web service itself on the operating system level where the server is. Illeg illegal or malicious encoding by using the Unicode on the, uh, in the internet address, the attacker is able to deceive the victim, the victim that the site address is legitimate by others. Speaking of coding, in this slide we have example of what uh, one of the complex attacks looks. It's encoded SQL injection attack. The purpose of this code is to insert a malicious URL into the data database. So when the visitors visit Hackett web website, code automatically redirect him to the attacker website. Another challenge for AppSec is to discredit a legitimate request from the malicious one. The example shows a search one of the regular websites, which contains word used in MySQL injection text, such as union and select. All the analysis will be not possible to do without AppSec. And what are the benefits of using Checkpoint uh, uh, web application firewall? The main ad advantage and strength of this solution is artificial intelligence, which is addition to automating the detec detection of malicious attempts. Also facil facilities that admi uh, the administration. In addition, it stops more uh, attacks compared to the solution that are not based on artificial intelligence. Extremely small number of false reports and no detailed adjustment uh, of the rule is required. A uh, system uh, for protecting uh, known vulnerabilities or IPS protect, API code protection, protection against malicious codes, and bots cloud-based and nano agent is very small and is not configurable. You only need to install a client with one shell line and your application is ready protected. In addition, it's uh, open source agent supports infrastructure, platform and function as a service, also supports virtual environments as well as containers. containers. AppSec uh, offer you to protect your web application, how they grow without tuning WAF itself, thanks to contextual AI. What is contextual AI? Well, contextual artificial intelligence refers to the ability to adapt and apply what has been learned, such as skill and knowledge in different scenarios and situations. And how that fit in uh, AppSec? Well, each query goes through the transaction, extracting the query, uh, crowd behavior, learning from the users with a good reputation, trusted user, uh, learning model based on trusted user, application content, and those trans trans transactions go to 
uh, go to the end and their risk hoard. As I mentioned earlier, many modern web uh, applications today working with API, what is benefit from AppSec in this case is positive negative security approach. Negative security uh, approach allows, allows us all HTTPS except for traffic that is identified to be hostile. Positive security reject all HTTP traffic except for the traffic that is uh, identified to be legitimate. What about bots? Uh, well, as uh, we know, uh, around 50-15% uh, of visits are made by bots. We need to recognize which are good uh, and bad from, from them and stop uh, to make us harm, like scrapping, denial of service, denial of inventory and any other bad things. Um, also, we have uh, application learning prevention system or IPS uh, included in, in checkpoint. Uh, uh, BAP uh, or AppSec automatically search for the vulnerabilities on your application and your web server, uh, protecting against known vulnerabilities, uh, also protecting uh, for uh, 2000, 2000, uh, 2008 uh, known web service vulnerabilities. And as I uh, have already seen on the previous slide, how uh, WAP generally work, the slide, this slide show technically how AppSec work. So every HTTP query is categorized on rules, users and applications, and every malicious attempt, which is about 5% or if not less, uh, or, or deviation is sent to analyze by artificial intelligence, where the query is scored and the visitor are estimated. And the end, it correlates that complete event and the, depending on, on the result, square is blocked or accepted. And what about that? Yes, uh, what about deployment? Well, for now, AppSec support only Nano client for Nginx web server. For another scenarios, we were, uh, have another web uh, server, for example, Apache or IIS. There is a reverse external proxy appliance called Infinity Next Gateway, and also there is support for Docker or for Kubernetes. Uh, yes, uh, one more thing uh, I would like to add, uh, that is the single sign-on uh, login with, provide that, uh, with providers from the list, and there is also possibility to be a security provider. And yes, for the end, I will play a short uh, video with demonstration of attack vulnerable web application with turn it uh, off AppSec and then uh, uh, to turn it on. So I will play it and talk about it, what I'm doing here. So I'm confirming that this is a uh, host name of site behind. I'm on that uh, virtual machine. I'm checking is uh, services start or not. Uh, like here said is not running. So this is the basic uh, web page which I created just for this purpose. Uh, which is vulnerable for IXS attacks and we will um, attack now the website. For example, this is a simple uh, comment page and here we can inject the script, malicious uh, JavaScript who will now pop up uh, the alert. That alert mean that we have uh, successful attack the victim. So this is the basic uh, confirm that site is vulnerable. Now I will type a uh, second uh, type of, I'm so sorry. Okay, so we pass that. So second attack is uh, reading the cookie from, from the victim, which is one of scary attack because you can get the login uh, from that user. And after that, uh, you can present it himself. So first, because I didn't clear my local cookies, he shown the first attack, where is the pop-up created. And now the second one is the PHP SSID, which is uh, basically the cookie for this page. I will show you now in the source part that this is the cookie which we just get. 
So basically, we can create a script which is the which will send this uh, cookie to external server. I mean, on attacker side and get his as a cookie to represent as himself. So the next type of attack is redirecting to another URL. As you see that we just got forwarded to Adria Security Summit web page. So basically, this user is a victim of attack, and now we can recreate um, forward to the uh, phishing page where the user uh, will don't, don't know that is phished and can uh, leave their username, password, or whatever is phishing required for him. Also, there is now uh, another type of tech, uh, which is the code in injection. What that mean? That mean that we can uh, uh, type any command on, uh, as a, like we have a shell on, on this uh, server. For example, here we will ping the Google.com, which is take a little time. And we can see that he successful ping the Google.com. We have a, uh, um, milliseconds how much needs to to request uh, for back also um, you can type how comments how want you need uh, uh, for example who i am is uh, to present which user uh, run this this comment in this case is nginx also we have a uh, ls which is uh, called injection.php, which is uh, this vulnerable website. Also, we have a uh, W, which is uh, uh, showing the load and which user is logged on that Unix machine. So basically, we can um, create the reverse shell. We can type it uh, like we have uh, access to the uh, box itself without authorization. And the last attack, it's kind of login form where we can, for example, you may imagine, you can imagine that this is, uh, for example, some kind of web forum or whatever is it. So this is a simple query the on Malaysia, on a vulnerable website, which we just typed that uh, to list all, all uh, tables from the information schema uh, table. If anyone uh, is familiar with MySQL, he know that this information scheme is default in every uh, SQL database. So now, we confirm that all these vulnerabilities works and uh, I was clear the cookies local from my browser. And now I will turn on the checkpoint AppSec web application firewall. So it's running. And I will repeat the same commands we, where we can see that this attack is stopped by AppSec. I have not passed all the, the attacks because every attack is blocked. So it's very basic, very quick. We just uh, installed the client, we started, and application is protected. So that is from the attacker side. Let's see from the defense side what we can see. So there is dashboard. Very, very simple one where we can see on the first first field, the second. So we see that one suspected uh, uh, source, uh, one asset target, and four prevent attacks, which we just done.
and here they are so oh. I'm sorry again okay so we we see uh which type of incident is so what kind of attack also we can see the attack itself in just a second My connection was a little bit slow, but here it is. So we have a comment. I mean, uh, the attack, uh, what the victim, uh, what the attacker was uh, do. So we have a complete uh, vulnerability. Watch that type is cross site splitting, as co injection also. I know this is the forward of URL. I'm sorry and sql and attack query so as union select as i already mentioned it um, he is uh, listing the all uh, information scheme tables and you can create the query to list for example all users table or users password email whatever so basically you have control over the mysql and also we have here a filter by the incident what we want to see maybe we are just uh, interested in interested in one ip source or type of vulnerability or i know uh, the body which is uh, the applied with this attack also um, http method which is used and etc also we have all events all events mean that there is uh, um, information about the tech, information about the client itself, uh, it is, it's the rules applied, etc. We can see here that it started. And first, what he get is our attack and their defense. So basically, that will be the present of checkpoint web application firewall for some uh, proof of concept or demo license. You can email us on email, which is in, on slide. Thank you for for your time. If you have some question, I'm ready to answer it. Uh, thank you, Mr. Vladimir. It's a bit scary to see these attacks, but we have checkpoint and no need to worry. Uh, what you, would you point out as a checkpoint advantage over the other firewalls? Well, it's uh, basically the, the, uh, that artificial intelligence which uh, help you to easily um, configure uh, your uh, firewall. You don't need to going over every uh, step in application which you need to protect you can create the how to say a uh, super user uh, which will you enter on a dashboard and the application i mean uh, upsec will uh, learn from your um, surfing over the web what is the normal um, usage for that website and you can create the rule like uh, white listing black listing every another query on that website uh, will be blocked so only whitelist one Will, will work. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your answer. And my second question, uh, yes. what if we have uh, synchronized attacks? Well, because this solution is based on cloud, it's, um, let's say, uh, there is uh, enough power to, to answer on, on complex attack and on simulus one. I don't uh, uh, meaning on DDoS like on layer two or three. I just talking about on layer seven. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Vladimir.